My name is Deborah Levinsky, owner of Bella Body Pilates in Phoenix, Arizona, and Pilates Method Alliance Certified Pilates Teacher. I'd like to welcome you to the next in this video series where we're going to address rolling out the dreaded IT band. Before you get started with any exercise, you should always check with your medical professional or your physician to see if this is appropriate. And if you have any joint or spine issues, always approach using the foam roller very carefully and gently. So the IT band, iliotibial band, runs from your hip to your knee. For many people, it's very tight and it's painful. It's a very common problem with people who are runners, in fact. So what can we do to help address that tightness? Well, one thing besides massage and acupuncture would be some self-care that you can do yourself with a foam roller at home. I know it helped me a lot over, over time, and the more you do it, the better it feels. But I'll tell you quite honestly, this is the part of the exercise class that most people really hate because it's painful. So I'll give you some tips on how to roll out this IT band and how to avoid having a lot of pain. So the first part is getting onto the roller. This for some people is a huge mystery and very awkward, but I've come up with an easy way to get on and off and hopefully it'll help you as well. So what we want to do is you want to kneel with the roller next to you and then come away about two or three inches and then just sit your hip down. So you're laying on the side of your hip, your knees are at your side. I like to always have one hand on the ground and one hand on the roller when I'm on the roller. So you're gonna take that bottom leg, the one that is attached to the hip that's on the roller, extend it out long, and then the top leg, I cross over on top. So at this point, I'm resting at the top of my IT band. You can put more weight onto your shoulder and then pull yourself forward with your arm and push yourself with this bent leg and then back and forth. So you can go back and forth just very slowly and gently and try to increase the range. If you have more flexibility in your upper body, you can rotate and have both hands on the floor and rotate your body a little bit more so it's facing the floor and roll up and down this way. There's a lot of controversy about what to do when you come to that sore spot, whether it's a trigger point or a knot in your muscle. I believe that if you put extra pressure on that point, it's not going to help. It hurts a lot and I think that that knot shows inflammation. So we don't want to increase inflammation, in my opinion, ever. So one thing that you can do is gently roll above that point. So let's say I have, let's say the knot is here on my thigh. So what I'm going to do is roll above that point, then gently below that point. You can always move the roller if you can support yourself with your, your arms. You can always glide the roller gently over that point, but I don't want you to press down and really dig in. So that would be one side. To come off, you reverse. So you press yourself up, you're sitting on the side of the roller, and then you lift your hip up so you're kneeling. Take the roller, switch it to the other side so you really haven't moved, and now you're going to come away a couple inches, sink your hip down on top of the roller, bring a hand down to the floor, one hand on the roller, extend that bottom leg straight, top leg crosses over, and same thing. So you're going to just gently roll back and forth. If you can, rotate your body face down. You can move the roller where you want it to be. You can take very long sweeping strokes back and forth. And then to come back off, bend the knees, take your hip off and you're done. So that's just a quick little tutorial 
on using the foam roller to help work any of the knots or tightness out of your IT band. I hope you'll tune in to other videos that I have. I'm Deborah Levinsky, Bella Body Pilates in Phoenix, Arizona.